Guys, I think we have a real one on our hands here. Yesterday, the Buffalo Sabres played off against the Florida Panthers, and they ended up losing 2-1 in regulation. It was an unfortunate turn of events for a team that has been sort of trying to enter that wildcard picture once again. They're at the tail end of everything, and they're kind of in a position where if they wanted to make the dance, they wouldn't just have to win all their games, they would have to really rely on some of the other teams to lose out. But either way, this was a regulation loss that a lot of Sabres fans on my timeline did not feel particularly upset to see. Not because the 2-1 loss is a desired outcome, but because of that 2-1 score. Florida only got two in past the Sabres, and part of that was due to the Sabres and their goaltending. With 36 shots against, you had Devin Levi post up 34 saves in a 9-4-4 save percentage. And we're making another video about Devin Levi here, mostly because when it comes to all of the comments that we have seen from the man himself, this guy just has such a crazy cool attitude in regards to being a goaltender in the National Hockey League that... There's nothing really like this, and with how good he has been performing in his first two NHL games, I feel it's more than necessary to go out there and break everything down. Because really, with how the numbers go, you could very well debate that Devin Levi is already, arguably, under two games played, the best goalie the team has in their system? Okay, I know how ridiculous that sounds when I say it like that. But on the other hand, there are some other comments that I wanted to kind of go over too. And unfortunately, they come from different video interviews. It's not really anything that I'm able to find in writing. But if you watch any of the Sabres pre-game, post-game stuff, and you listen to what Levi has to say about his perspective as to being a goalie at the National Hockey League level, you'll see that this is a really interesting guy. And part of the reason for that is his absolute desire to do what other people probably would prefer not to do. When Devin Levi played his first game against the New York Rangers and won, there were a few comments that he made afterwards about how he absolutely loves the pressure, he loves being in that position where he needs to be relied upon, he was hoping that the Rangers would get some grade-A opportunities, he wanted cross creases, he wanted pucks into the slot that would get tipped on. He wanted Panarin to go out there and do his thing. They asked him about it, and he was like, yeah, I love it. I want to be tested. This is the best of the best, and I want to be in a position to show off that I can belong here. He was super confident, and he said it all with a smile on his face. He had a great attitude towards it, and the funny thing is, even if the Sabres lost the first game against the Rangers with Levi and Nett, you probably still would have seen him display that sort of demeanor because he's just a guy that loves to play goal. He loves to get that kind of opportunity for himself and his career, and when he's able to prove that he's able to belong, that's when he is at his best. Here's a comment that he made earlier in the week, too. The nerves make me play well. They give me energy and make me focus on the puck. I'd say a good relationship with nerves is important as a goalie. I was just excited to play. I used the nerves as positive energy instead of negative energy. And he also said yesterday that being able to play a game against the Florida Panthers, the team that initially drafted him and traded him away, would have been a great opportunity for him to get something going. And again, I don't have the full quote in front of me at the moment. I can't find it. It's on a video somewhere. But Devin Levi's confidence, full display, the guy has himself a great attitude in regards to being a National Hockey League caliber goalie, and yesterday we saw that on display full send, because as we had said, he made 34 saves on 36 shots against, unfortunately the Sabres didn't win, but there were a few cross-crease saves, backdoor tap-in plays that were stopped up by Levi, the guy played phenomenally out of his mind good, and there are just so many qualities that make him such a talented goaltender. Just the calmness, the anticipation, and the decision-making, too. There were a number of plays where Levi was way out of his crease, trying to make the stop, point-blank. He's got such an adaptability to the way he plays the net that 
Sometimes he'll be outstretched on his goal line making a backdoor play. Other times he'll be maybe two, three feet away from the crease trying to block a shot or whatever. Like, Levi is so versatile as a goaltender and he's so special in that he's able to make it work that all of a sudden you have stats like this going out there showing off that Devin Levi now has the highest goals saved above expected for all Sabres goaltenders who have suited up this season with a 4.2. Take a look at the numbers right here. He's got two games played, four goals against, 8.2 expected goals against, meaning that if you do the sum of everything, he has saved 4.2 goals above the expected. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, it means that if you take a look at the shots and the quality of chances that are thrown against Devin Levi, 4.2 of the saves that he has made should have been goals based off of the location of the shots, the quality of those shots, the angles, the speed, who was taking the shot, etc. And it's good enough to put him as the number one Sabres goalie at the moment, above Anderson, Uko Pekalukkanen, and Eric Comrie. Now, you definitely have the argument that says, okay, well, these other guys played a significantly higher amount of games played, and because of that, you could definitely debate that because longer exposure leads to more chances and more fluky goals against as well, it kind of evens itself out as it goes further down, right? It's a fair argument to bring up, but... It's just kind of wild that in the guy's first two games, he has already had an average of four goals a game in terms of the shot quality against him. But he stopped half of those, and he is still only 21 years old. 21 years old, fresh out of the NCAA, didn't need any AHL time or whatever. He stepped into the NHL, played well against the Rangers, played well against the Panthers, two goals against in each of those games, and... The only difference was the Buffalo Sabres scored three in overtime against the Rangers and one against the Florida Panthers. These games are games where the goaltending is not the problem. In fact, it's a good thing. And so, for Buffalo fans, y'all gotta get excited, or you don't have to get excited. You're already excited. I know you are. I'm seeing the comments. I'm seeing everybody go out there and talk about Devin Levi and the success story that he has been. Sure, it was poetic to see him get the start against Florida, the team that he was traded from. And I know a lot of people were hyped up because Tage Thompson was coming back, etc., etc. But, unfortunately, it did not go the Sabres' way. Devin Levi was not able to get the dub, but he still performed very, very well. So, thoughts in the comments section below about Levi and the way he has played as a Buffalo Sabre so far. Where do you see him going for 22-23? Or, not 22-23, excuse me. The next season, 23-24, how well do you think he's going to be able to play? And do you think an extended workload would sort of taint that number that we had talked about? The goal saved above expected being as high as it is, one of the top 30 goalies in the NHL and only two games played pretty much. Do you think with a bigger sample size, Levi would face a lot more shots against, a lot more expected goals against, and maybe have a few fluky ones in there too because it's inevitable that a goalie isn't perfect? Do you think you could continue having a let's say, half goals again saved above expected in a higher sample size should he continue to play more games next season. That's the question of the day. Let me know in the comments all your thoughts and opinions. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.